I'm Kitili Mbathi, Director General of Kenya Wildlife Service, and welcome to Nairobi National Park. We are in the final process of um, our ivory burn. We are going to tally each of the tusks as they come out, take them down and start building our pyre for the fireworks. Okay, good. Six, six. You go, you go. Eight. 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 Ten. Half. Ten. Kenya is demonstrating through the burn that it believes that there is no intrinsic value to ivory. The only value in ivory is as tusks on the elephant. And what we are trying to do is um, stigmatize ivory, ivory jewelry, ivory trinkets, so that it plays a part in reducing the demand for ivory. Ultimately, we would like to see a total ban in the trade of ivory so our elephants have a better chance of surviving over the next generations. We will have uh, 10 towers for ivory and one tower for the rhino. We put it on the ground. We put it standing up. Oh, yeah. I feel very sad to see um, that so many elephants had to die, a lot of them, through poachers. I think it just demonstrates that Kenya is very serious in its anti-poaching efforts, in its conservation efforts for the rhino and the elephant, and it is to encourage a movement to ban the trade, uh, global trade in ivory and rhino horn. Since the lifting of the 20 years moratorium on the sale of ivory, Kenya saw a beginning of poaching again. And here in Olarinero, which is the largest private conservancy in Kenya, situated on the edge of the Great Rift Valley, the hunting of elephants illegally instantly began. Poached elephants were found daily. And in 2009, within a very short period of time, we lost 64 elephants. In some cases, we arrived before the poachers and we retrieved the ivory that we gave to the KWS. When the ivory will be burnt again, some of the tusks in that pyre are of elephants that lived and died in Olarinero. It's personal for me. This was one of the biggest elephants we had. The first elephant that we lost in this year, in January 2016, we got the tusks. 100 pounds, and I'm sure they will be burned to the rest. Ivory actually nobilifies the teeth. They should be called teeth, not ivory, I don't think. Ivory seems like a substance, like diamond, like gold, something of value of some sort. There should be no value in the teeth of the elephant. It is only a sad reminder that once those teeth were on a live, majestic, symbolic, iconic animal that walk Africa and is no longer there. The most important thing is also to remember that there will not be a live elephant was it not for the space for this elephant.
because I have protected this vegetation for over 40 years. Olerinigu is a key biodiversity area. And there is a lot of water here. Because the vegetation and the water, they go together. Olariniru is the watershed for the Great Rift Valley, lakes of Baringo, Bogoria, and, and uh, Lake 94, as they call it. Uh, by the sheer presence of the cattle in wildlife area, they are disturbing a balance. Because of the amount of buffaloes that we have here, who bring East Coast fever to the cattle, the illegal herders must use a pesticide in order to keep their cattle alive. And therefore, uh, they pollute the courses of water, they carry this uh, pesticide with them. And by extension, the vegetation is affected in, at large, the forests are affected. They talk about cattle like walking gold, because it is money that walks. But of course, people who invest in livestock don't have the land for the livestock. There is going to be no future for the wildlife and the environment in this country. It's where hundreds of thousands of livestock are invading wildlife space. In Olariniru we lost over 200 elephants in the last few years. I stood on the carcasses. I smelled the death of those elephants. I saw the maggots. I saw the horror. I know what it means. This was actually an elephant that was unusually speared with a poison spear, and it was surrounded by livestock. This was my son. I do all this in his memory. The first ivory fire. Proud to carry, to be helping. Never. What a childhood, yeah? Burning something since the beginning of time is an end and a beginning. The ivory that belonged to a live elephant should only be on the elephant. Lakini io io ato esi ka ko area pa kana rudi badai ka ida ni ausi ko anafanya i ko ndofu ka mangapi ko area ile. There are moments in the life of people which are turning points. In mine, this was the death of my son at 17, so soon after the death of my husband in an accident, and on the grave of both, I swore to dedicate my life and my resources to making a difference for the chunk of Africa where they lived, which they loved, and where I continue to live, and which I love. There is nothing that people can do to scare or to make me lose heart, because by the, by the end of the day, and life will go on, and after all, they will not be able to change the shape of the hills. <laughs>